Hey guys, it's uh, Tristan from Jury Rig, Jury Rig Garage again. Uh, don't mind me, I just woke up <laughs> and wanted to do some car stuff. So also, don't mind my dirty garage. Uh, this is why I work at Davis's, in case you don't know. Had to clear this square just for me. Anyhow, gonna be working on the 5.3 uh, the today. I haven't decided what direction I want to take this. If I want to just take the heads off and do the DOD delete, in my uh, in my car or if I want to take this engine and swap it out or if I want to fully rebuild this engine and swap it out I don't know which one I want to do yet um, I've got most of the things to uh, I've got the entire engine gasket set and uh, among other things coming and so I've got most of the things to actually do a full rebuild all I need to do is take out the crank get some bearings and uh, spend a little bit more money at the machine shop, have them inspect the block, have them hone the cylinders most likely. I haven't looked inside yet. Um, and uh, whatnot. This is supposed to be a 130,000 mile motor, which is 70,000 under what uh, mine has. So that's pretty good. I mean, it looks pretty rusty, looks pretty dirty. And uh, the mechanics who took it out said that they believe they remember correctly um, they took the engine out from a lifter tick and uh, you know with my luck th their lifter tick could have could have been a, a light rod knock I don't know and I won't know I could uh, you wouldn't really see that well anyways at the very least right now I'm gonna take the heads off and see what I can see and uh, yeah these are some fat ass heads so these can be heavy I've already hurt myself multiple times, smashed a couple fingers, um, broke a few tools, <laughs> a few Arbor Freight tools getting the flex plate off and all that. Well, whatever. I'll, I'll come back with a little bit of progress. Won't be much though, I'll just be the heads off or one of them. But be back in a second. We're back at it. Uh, haven't got the heads off yet. Uh, having no power tools is kind of, you know, slows you down. But uh, damn, I am impressed with how clean it looks in this valve cover. I don't know what that is covering it. It's like a little, I don't know. There's some like metallic powdery shit on some of these valve springs. That's weird. Looks silver. And it's kind of shiny. That's weird. But besides that... These things look freaking mint. Like, I'm impressed with how this looks. This is a good sign. Good sign. Yeah, even though I'm, I'm replacing the valve springs, anyways, these things look really good. So, cool. I just wanted to show you guys that, that these heads look really good. And, uh, need to, oh, damn, that sucks. I need to take this whole rocker pedestal off to get those head bolts. That's a shame. Oh, well. I'll come back to you when I uh, get that off. <laughs> well, guys, I got the head off. Looks pretty carbony. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. But, bottom side of these heads look pretty good. You know, these things look new, and the mechanic who took this engine out said that, that the, these heads might be newer, but, you know, they look newer. It looked great on the other side, but they got a lot of carbon deposit right here. I'm surprised. If, they were, if these were new heads, I'd expect there not to be as much. But, uh, yeah. Let's see what the other side looks like when I get there. All right, we're back. I got the uh, second head off, and I think I'm going to be done wrenching for today. Cannot tell if you guys can see very well because of the light. But uh, this is what the inside of this 5.3 looks like. So... They said that they took the motor out for a lifter tick, and I couldn't really find anything except for this. This lifter has rust or something on it. And uh, no other ones seem to have any real uh, signs of wear. Not even any of these. One of these push rods has some like damage around the, uh, around it, but so small that I'm sure it wasn't anything but uh, yeah these aluminum heads are so light it's really nice I thought they'd be so heavy but no this is what they look like this is what the second one looks like it's 
kind of funny. They left the uh, left the spark plugs out, so some spiders were able to actually make some homes in some of these cylinders. Number one and three here. Um, so I had to clear those out, but uh, I'm gonna get a flashlight here. Hang on. These cylinders look pretty good though. Oh, a few spots of rust. Nothing on this one, nothing on this one. Uh, maybe a few specks of, of rust. So I could get this easily rehoned. I'm not sure how long this engine was sitting because if rust is left untreated on the cylinder walls, then it will eat away the metal and pit it. And even if you hone it, if you don't bore it out, some uh, oil can escape past the rings and the car can smoke. But um, even at that point, a, mach a machinist have, has told me that uh, unless it's extremely bad, it won't affect performance anyways. Um, but yeah, um, there's, I'm freaking sweating a storm out here because it's pretty warm. You know, I'm a Washington boy in like 85 degree heat. This sucks. So even though I'm not in direct sunlight, it's pretty humid though. But, uh, yeah, so this engine doesn't look too bad. But, um, yeah. I don't know exactly what I want to do with it yet. Look at this thing. This thing is bad. Same better days. Well, I will uh, come back on another day and update you on what I'm doing. But again, yeah, these these... Aluminum heads are freaking the shit, man. Um, also, I wanted to show. Sound familiar with this like cast number? Eight six two. I'm unfamiliar with that one, but uh, if anyone has any info on these heads, let me know. But uh, other than that, they look pretty good. This is odd. Thought that was pretty odd. But. Uh, I don't think I've ever had any aluminum heads, so maybe that's normal. Who knows? Well, see you guys later.